Welcome back guys. So today I want to go over real quick my top three Raspberry Pi cases as of this moment anyway. So I'm going to go over the pros and cons real quick like, explain what I like and what I dislike. So in number three, the Nest Pi case. So this one, you know, a lot of controversy behind it, craziness. The reason I like it is because of the looks. You have the two USB ports on the front so you can have your controllers up there, pretty nice. You have a power and reset button that are not safe without modification, so that could be a con, but I also look at it as a pro that you do have power and reset that you can utilize. Um, the memory card slot, it's fairly easy to insert and remove the card. Not the best I've ever seen, but I like it. I like the looks of it. One of the other cons is the ethernet port up in the front. And like I said, the other con that some people might look at would be the power and reset button not being safe. And then the black decals on the stripe there. But overall, I still think it looks pretty nice. And that's one of the reasons it's a number three for me. Number two, this might be a controversial one if the Nest Pie case wasn't a controversial one, but the Rasp Tendo, a lot of people don't like this. They say it looks ugly, but I flip and love it. You got the ports in the back, everything nice and neat. You have an actual safe power and reset button. What? And bonus, this is one of the easiest insert and removal of micro SD cards I have ever had in a case. So I definitely love this. This is my number two. The power and reset button, functional, very clicky, but a lot of people don't like this case because it doesn't look exactly like a Super Nintendo, but to me, that's fine. I don't care that it doesn't look exactly the same. And it does come with this nice, colorful manual that goes step by step by step for everything. How to configure the power button, how to make sure you have the safe reset. It's, it's really nice and I'm, hey, I give them props for this case. I really love it. It almost is my number one case, but for some reason, it's my number two. Don't know what to say. My number one, this might be crazy to you because I hate acrylic cases. Is this acrylic case? It comes with a little bottom copper heat sink, a dual fan heat sink, and it's open air. The reason I love this, and here's another uh, a box with the actual another one in it because I really love this case, so I had to have two. It comes with everything you need, and if you buy this version, it does come with a little USB power extender with a you know power switch on there, so you can shut down power after you have shut down within the system if you're using RetroPie. But I just love this case. It's my number one. I use it all the time. I like the way it looks. It's open air never have any overheating issues even during you know the summertime when it was like 100 degrees where i where i'm working at never had an issue with this the biggest con for me is the micro sd card insert and removal not the easiest you got to have some fingernails to pull it out very tough that's the biggest con this has the worst you know access to the micro sd card out of all three of these cases but i just love it because of the simplicity you got that dual fan heat sink on there and then I love it. I really do. So I'll put links in the description if you want to peep any of these cases out. Typically, the Rasp Tendo and NES Pi case are around 20, 25, and then the acrylic with dual fan heat sink is going to be about 15. So appreciate you guys stopping in. Smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, which is a greatly appreciated, you will be entered into a Patreon giveaway. So if you want to become a patron, Hey, I really appreciate it. And we got really lucky this month by being able to give away a Splatoon 2 Nintendo Switch system, a Raspberry Pi 3 Canna Kit set with the brand new 8-BitDo SN30 Pro Controller, and then another runner-up prize is gonna be Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. Or if you don't have a Switch and you win that prize, you can choose a $50 Amazon gift card. So that drawing will take place on January 1st. Any active patrons of the month of December will be entered. So just wanted to throw that out for you. Appreciate it. Smash it, like it, hit that notification bell, do all that wonderful stuff, and I will catch y'all next time. Boom!